different. Uh, so if you could just uh, say your name and just um, share some of the practice of gratitude, how it's affected your life. Yeah, um, my name is Emma. Um, the practice of gratitude has been super significant to my life um, in helping spend the last couple of years creating co-housing and intentional communities and um, even in my spiritual practice, one as uh, the practice of art as like a kind of something spiritual and monastic and taking it as far as um, taking a vow of gratitude in my spiritual practice for two years um, in which we explored the expressions of gratitude for ourselves, for our communities, for our health, um, in writing letters of gratitude and also just very similar to this project, taking and um, recognizing the moments of gratitude um, in, in kind of this art monastery realm, but also um, I've, that is what translated into the um, co-housing community. So the Vinyasa Homes Project, which I've been working with um, since 2012, um, they, we started this community kind of living idea for ourselves um, at this home in Redwood City and when we were trying to figure out what we were doing and how we were doing it the, the you know so many things can happen if, that make you kind of push in just, just semantics right there's things that you do for one reason or another um, and people won't agree or won't create conflict and drama and things and one of the things that has led to like the most sustainability for our community has been the practice of gratitude in all of our meetings we actually have gratitude circle and um, so we have like announcements and we talk about problems and solutions and in between those two things we actually have gratitude circle and that allows us to come to a place where we're communicating with each other in a really positive way because one we're we're recognizing the good deeds of others and two being recognized for the things that we've done to contribute to our community or contribute to the well-being of individuals um, and it's so, so impactful for our community to be, you know, really intentionally expressing gratitude to one another and for having a home that we share with one another and having our health and having our families. And sometimes we're expressing gratitudes that are specific thing, like gratitude for being picked up from the airport. And sometimes you're expressing gratitude for having a safe place to come home to, or a place that when you have a hard day of work that you're excited about coming home to. So all of those things lead to a really beautiful, positive um, experience and has been really just a, a really special space for us to, to kind of create from. I'm gonna do some maneuvering. Driving in San Francisco, maneuvering right now. Totally great. Grateful. <laughs> totally good. Bobbing and weaving through the San Francisco traffic. So we're going to um, stop by two communities today. One is uh, that are part of the Vinyasa Homes Project. Uh, Chris was staying with us over at the Canopy in Oakland. And um, these other communities are people I've been working with. Um, extensively to create um, a positive just like a sustainability in our in our sustainability for these communities and um, a lot of it's about uh, creating like a communal sustainability social sustainability um, and ethos and more so than like I mean 
ecological and financial sustainability are both really important things, but creating like a, you know, this, these ethos and, and communal sustainability, things that will, will last is so important, uh, to, you know, really making this all work for each of these. So that's exciting. Great. I don't know what else to that say. That was great. Right no, it was wonderful. Thank you. No, you said... <laughs>